And now, it's time for our daily devotion, daily abiding in Jesus Christ, in the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So we invite you to spend a little moment as we bring you today's daily abiding in Jesus Christ, a daily devotional ministry project of Christodo Gino Baga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily abiding in Jesus Christ. May 26, 2020 Matthew 7 verses 13 to 14 Verse 13 Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way, that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. 14 Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it. Quotation from the Spirit of Prophecy The path which I have set before you, Jesus said, is narrow, the gate is difficult of entrance, for the golden rule excludes all pride and self-seeking. There is, indeed, a wider road, but its end is destruction. If you would climb the path of spiritual life, you must constantly ascend, for it is an upward way. You must go with the few, for the multitude will choose the downward path. In the road to death the whole race may go, with all their worldliness, all their selfishness, all their pride, dishonesty, and moral debasement. There is room for every man's opinions and doctrines, space to follow his inclinations, to do whatever his self-love may dictate. In order to go in the path that leads to destruction, there is no need of searching for the way, for the gate is wide, and the way is broad, and the feet naturally turn into the path that ends in death. But the way to life is narrow and the entrance straight. If you cling to any besetting sin you will find a way too narrow for you to enter. Your own ways, your own will, your evil habits and practices, must be given up if you would keep the way of the Lord. He who would serve Christ cannot follow the world's opinions or meet the world's standard. Heaven's path is too narrow for rank and riches to ride in state, too narrow for the play of self-centered ambition, too steep and rugged for lovers of ease to climb. Toil, patience, self-sacrifice, reproach, poverty, the contradiction of sinners against himself, was the portion of Christ, and it must be our portion, if we ever enter the paradise of God. By Ellen G. White Mount of Blessings, pages 138, 139.